If this is not a Samsung picture, oh no, this is not gonna be easy. I was like, no way I'm gonna be eating anything hot today. Oh, no way. Oh, I started with the wrong. All right, welcome to our blind camera comparison with a twist. All right, we have eight scenes taken with the iPhone 14 Pro, the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and I don't know which picture has been taken with which phone. So I'm gonna try to guess them. Rado here is going to monitor me. And if I get anything wrong, I have to eat a cracker doused in hot sauce. And I hate hot sauce. All right, this is the first scene. So we have three pictures here. As you can see, all three taken with different phones. B, I would wager, is taken with an iPhone because, you know, they, they do like their warm hues, don't they? And also I can see some over sharpening going on around the leaves of the tree. The Google Pixel has amazing HDR capabilities. Over here, I can see a lot of uh, stitching going on. There's some haziness around the edge of the opera house which leads me to believe that there were a lot of samples being stitched together here. It doesn't look great, but when you look at this one, it looks super over sharpened and you can see some halo effects. So that's not great HDR. So I'm gonna say one is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, uh, the B is the iPhone and C is the Pixel. And you're wrong on all three. What? Get ready to eat. Yeah, so first of all, a is actually the iPhone. No and way! I was also really surprised because I usually expect iPhone, the iPhone to have like a <laughs> great start. <laughs> I would have guessed that this is the iPhone, but it's not. This is actually the Pixel 7. Mm. Can you believe this? this no, it's I, I definitely cannot. Quite different from the other two. I, I started with the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I was like, no way I'm gonna be eating anything hot today. Oh. You alright? Uh-uh. <laughs> you, might, you might need some water or something. The next uh -huh. one is also a beautiful landscape. We have our beautiful park here. Once again, we have pretty different pictures. Like, as you can see, the second one is much darker. We have some pretty strong HDR here. Hey, now look at those saturated colors. Yep. If this is not a Samsung picture, I'm gonna be eating another hot cracker. But I do believe this is taken with the Samsung. So the galaxies usually take brighter photos. Um, that's not to say they're burnt out, but they do really lean on the boosted exposure. And they always have these super vivid colors and the green in the grass is always like unrealistic. And this is what I'm seeing here. The next two, I'm going to guess that B was taken with the iPhone um, because the iPhone does have some good dynamics, but when it has shadows in a shot, it doesn't really bother boosting them. You know, if you go into a software afterwards, you can actually pull more information from those shadows, but the iPhone by default will just leave them a bit darker. And also the details in the trees seem a bit softer to me compared to C, where I can see a lot of sharpness and a lot of over sharpening, but also C is a brighter photo, which makes me believe that that's the pixel. All right, so C is the pixel, B is the iPhone, and A is the Galaxy. I'm really afraid to tell you. No. That you are correct with the first one. It was the Galaxy S22 Ultra, this one. Okay. You were correct, okay. you started great, okay. but then you said that this is what? The iPhone. Yeah, it's not, it's the Pixel. Look, by the end of all eight, I will probably have learned the differences much better. Or you would have thrown up, we'll see. To be honest, the second one was not as bad. Oh, okay, it's hitting now. <laughs> For the third scene, we have a beautiful portrait photo of our friend, Vic. Oh, that's my reaction to Vic, it's not the hot sauce. <laughs> cool. I do believe that C is the iPhone. It's just that I've taken so many iPhone portraits that the way it cuts around the edges of the subject look very familiar to me. Also, the colors are uh, warm-ish and the bulky in the background uh, is a bit on the realistic side, like if, you, if you're using an actual camera lens, it will look kind of like this. It doesn't look too fake to me. Well, actually, all of them look not very fake. Oh, oh, I'm gonna be eating hot sauce again. 
All right, so C, iPhone for now. B, I believe that is the Samsung because the portrait mode is very, very similar to the um, iPhone. I can see a lot of smoothening going on around Victor's face, yeah, face which is, is very, very common for um, a Samsung portraits. They just tend to make you look a bit younger. So Victor looks like 50 over here. Well, the iPhone, and I believe that C is the iPhone, iPhone tends to keep all of your wrinkles and all your imperfections intact. Sorry, Victor, you're still a handsome man. Okay, let's take a look at A just to make sure. All right, yeah, this is easy. Um, this is the pixel because you can see that it's a lower quality. I'm locking in A pixel, B Galaxy, C iPhone. You yes! guessed all three are correct. Oh, I get to breathe. Okay, finally, the correct answer from our friend here. And this was actually a great way to analyze the photo. This was perfect. So <laughs> let's move on to our fourth scenario here. Uh, this reminds me of the landscape before the portrait. It's a very similar spot with very similar characteristics in the photos. And uh, it's gonna be easier, I think, for me to guess this time around. Oh no, this is not gonna be easy. Okay, A and C look very, very similar. I can see that A is doing a lot of over sharpening around the tree leaves here. And I can also see the very unrealistic green grass. C looks more realistic. Yeah, you're trying to trip me up. This is the Samsung, A is the Samsung. Right. B is the iPhone, sure. not because it's darker, but I am looking at the, um, the skin tone, the skin tone, the sharpness right. and the details in the face and this. All right. So locking B as the iPhone because of skin tone and because of uh, detail shot softness, not even talking about dynamics here, locking A as the Samsung because of the unrealistic colors and C as the pixel because it's the only one left and I hope to God I am correct. I'm impressed that oh. none of them, none of them are correct. No way. Nice job. All right. Which so one is this it? is the iPhone. So we have a dark photo from the pixel, warm from the iPhone. If you could remember this, maybe you won't have to do this. Don't worry. Oh, no. This is number five. It's a macro <sighs> photo. Uh -huh. The green color. That's yeah. Samsung. Oh no. Oh, I'm eating hot sauce again. Oversaturated. Right. Very, very green. My brain is says Samsung. I believe the B is the pixel because I have noticed <laughs> in photos when we have these different dark hues um, intertwining uh, with each other, the pixel is pretty good at p pulling those details out and representing each color. Like I can see in the leaf a little bit of green here, then it goes into brown, then it goes into a little bit of green again, which is something that I see more often on pixel samples than on iPhone samples. All right, listen, you think way too much. This is the Galaxy S22 Ultra. You started correct. Yes. Then you said that this is the iPhone. That was correct. But then you decided to switch. I yeah, you're correct. I'm second guessing myself. Yeah, well, I'm kind of disappointed by the pixel then. Why? It looks fine. It does look fine. But I, in my mind, they looked better. Oh, well, yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. Let's go. Mm, One win so mm, far. Mm, nice job. Mm, mm, I love it. Mm. All right. Scenario six, evening landscapes, a beautiful night. Once again, we have a very, very bright, warm photo. Yeah. A pretty neutral one. Yep. And then this, I don't know what it is. It's pretty bad. Yep, it is pretty bad. So okay. if you want, we can start with A. No. Again, we have a warm picture and a very dark picture. Is this what you call warm? Yeah, it's kind of warm. It's Compared to the other. It's thing. very, very yellow. I'm going to say this is the iPhone because I'm used to iPhones having very, very yellow tones. Okay, that's, especially a, good, that's a good way of thinking about it. because Especially I, in low light. In my experience, yeah, it's the same thing. This is the darkest one. Which phone would do that? Typically, the Pixel has very nice night mode, but yeah. I would guess that since this is a twilight photo, maybe it got tripped up. And then C, it, just by matter of elimination, I would say C is the pixel, but I would expect a pixel to take a better photo than this. I'm feeling sorry for you. Oh no. That's why I'm happy to say that you're correct. This is your second <laughs> correct answer, baby. Hey. Yeah. Uh, A no. is the Galaxy, okay? Yeah. This is the iPhone. The yellow the one yellow is the iPhone. One. And this is the pixel, the, the darkest pixel. one. Yeah, I, am, I assume the pixel failed here, but 
It that's, could have been a difficult. fluke. Yeah, it's a fluke. I, Here's uh, our friend again. What have you learned so far? Yes, I've learned Please my go. lesson. So, yellow one, that's the iPhone. Darkest one, that's gotta be the Pixel. And then uh, the Galaxy. I'm, I'm gonna throw in some extra uh, anal analysis. Before here. you do. Yeah. You're correct. Oh, thank you. Well, Go then ahead and I'm just gonna. Yeah, the iPhone is very, very and the most hard neutral. to miss. Yeah, it's so yellow. I'm really disappointed twilight. with the iPhone in this Absolutely. test, by the way. Yeah. I expected better. This is beautiful. The Galaxy nailed it. Yeah, this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Wow. It looks great for an evening photo. Yeah. Because you can see how dark it is, actually. I will make it known. I asked for seven shots, but they added eight. No. Okay. This is just, I thought this just looked beautiful. I'm gonna say B is the iPhone. <clears throat> right. Uh, because of the yellow hues. You might and, be surprised. Oh no. <laughs> uh, right, I'm not gonna lock that in. Oh. Oh, you see something? I do see something. What is it? I, I think I, I've got this. All right, so A has great dynamics. Everything yeah. looks almost flat. Yeah, we kind of know which much. phone did this. I see a lot of over sharpening in the rocks here. Yeah. You can kind of see too much of their little wrinkles and their If you zoom in, it starts to look a bit over sharp. Yeah. yeah. And then looking at B, this one looks most realistic without too much over sharpening. No post-processing, looks pretty clean. So I'm okay. gonna call A Samsung, B Pixel, C iPhone. I'm really happy to say that we're gonna end on a win. Oh so yeah, you baby! Three times we have three oh, correct guesses. Yeah. Thank you for watching, Miss Suffer. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a comment, and we might do it again. Maybe mm, if I'm in the mood. I'm but, gonna drink beer next time. Oh, we might drink shots. Yes. Yeah. Sub, like, comment. See you next time. Bye.